Yo, everybody, man, it's P. You tapped in with Hoodie and the Headband. Before I get off this screen, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. Welcome back to the Hoodie and the Headband podcast show. It's your boy, B. Joined by my boy, my brother. Three. And we're joined by the one and only Pierre Davis of Monkey Media. Yes, yeah, sir. How birds. you doing? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why either. I was throwing up I'm birds. Let, I'm letting you rock. I'm letting you rock. You know. I think it's. I'm watching Sabrina play right now, and you know she chucking up threes. So it's like we letting them birds fly all day. Okay, but I was like, where, where the bird coming at? Like, <laughs> I don't know what I do half the time. Oh, That's okay, what makes me beat though. <laughs> but yeah, we we're enjoying my playoff P this week, man. To talk about the NBA Finals, man. Boston Celtics up against the Dallas Mavericks. Get your popcorn ready, man. This is gonna be one of the finals that we talk about for some time, man. Um, my notebook. All right, this notebook. I forgot. I forgot something. I forgot something. I forgot something. Tariq, do you remember who was on your? Wait, hold on. Wellness check. Wellness check. Wellness check. How's everybody doing? You know, I'm good. I'm good, man. I wish, I wish the Lakers was in the finals. Felt that 100%, bro. You know what I'm saying? I could be better. You know what I'm saying? I wish the Lakers was in the finals. Yeah. So it's sad. I'm seeing the ops in the finals. I'm a little sad, but it's okay. I'll live. Yeah. No, nah, I'm good. Over here. You know how we go. Close. Well, no, it's actually not close to the end of the week. We, we normally record on the end of the week. So it's about to be weird. We're not about to record for like five days. Oh, look at me going bold. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm looking back at old notes. I had to find something real quick. Oh, right, but, um, what should we call it? For good to hear that you guys are doing good. How about you, bro? I'm doing good, man. I can't complain, man. You know, I got a fresh cut. I'm getting Tip my life in order. Now so we can see. Like, t- <laughs> yes. Beat up. Tariq is like. <laughs> Listen, listen. To me, my biggest hater, but it's cool. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's crazy. But no, nah, man, today was a real productive day. I got, listen, woke up, did laundry, cleaned the bathroom, cleaned the room, did the dishes, got the oil changed in the whip, got a full oh. tank, got my hair cut, oh. did, did some window shopping. You see the thumbs up, right? It's actually crazy. Now. It's a good day. Why Ice Cube said it? Well, Ice Cube said I even had to, no. I even got. Anyways, Why Ice Cube said today was a good day. <laughs> it was a good day, as long as the tank full, I'm happy. Come on now. Oh, and I got the wet wash yesterday. Clean. Mm, it's clean. Clean. Inside, outside, clean. Or just outside inside clean? and outside. You know how to get the vacuum action. Clean beat up. Come on clean now. Come on now. Flesh. Hey, hey. Cleanness is clean. Cleanliness is next to godliness. I ain't gonna lie. That's a bar right there. Come on now. So bar that C Tariq, like, come on, man. Like, let me gas my man. See Tariq be hated. Let me see it's what I'm talking out. about. <laughs> my, I've been doing that for like the last 30 seconds. I did not do anything. And I've been peeping. I didn't want to breathe. He's trying so yet. hard not to laugh. Like, he's just like. <laughs> he was like, you know what? I'm going to let him live. I'm going to let him live. I ain't going to say nothing. I'm just gonna let him, I'm it, gonna was let hurt, him it was hurting to see you thriving right there. Like, you know that <laughs> meme of the boy with the, with the line in his head? Like, the, the vein popping? That was, yeah. But no, anyways, man, let's talk. We got NBA Finals, man, with, you know, with them boys been playing for all season, that Larry OB. That time is here, man. We got at least four games to watch in a seven-game series, starting in Boston. Um, Tariq, I got a question for you. Uh, at a point in the season, about 30, 39 episodes ago, we did a contenders draft. Do you remember who was on your contender list? The top of my contender list or all the teams? No, just any of you. Just any of them. Any of them. Uh, Milwaukee, Boston, OKC, Denver. Wait, we did five, right? Did five, yeah. So you said Milwaukee, Boston, OKC. Minnesota, Denver. So you got uh-huh. Milwaukee and Denver, right? You said the Timberwolves, Heat, and the Lakers. No way I said the Lakers. I might tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. Bro, first of all, I might tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. 
P, I Why know you say I it know like you're a Laker guy. I know you're a big Bron guy. We see, we see the background. No way I said that. I'm going to cover mine's up because I'm going to say mine's, but. I don't know. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. Am I covering? Okay. You said 39 episodes ago? Yeah, episode 130. It's there. It's down. That don't mean I said it, though. He might have wrote it down wrong. <laughs> Anyways, and you went, and listen, listen, listen. And, and, and this was this was the beginning of the season because we got we talking NBA Christmas. This December, I was gonna yeah. say, God. So I I know exactly where I was. I'm about to say so, yeah, because the the Lakers they were in the in season tournament by then, or they won the in season tournament by then. So, uh, yeah, damn. uh, so yeah, oh, so me, I said him. we drafted them, yeah. You said it like, but I we didn't. No, it's not like I stole a pick from you. You stole a pick from me. Like we still had these thoughts, though. No, I'm saying I picked the Lakers because that was like the tenth team. But well, that was a last. Yeah, that was a last draft. I picked yeah, them over like the Kings and the Warriors and that. You picked them over the Clippers because you left me with the Clippers. Because I was talking trash about the Clippers start the season. Oh yeah, I, I wasn't. I was like, you, you, like, you was like, no, nah, I'll make you pick the Clippers because you they biggest hater. I was like, okay, that's that's completely different. Okay, that's completely different. I thought I picked like there was five teams that I could choose from. And I chose the Heat and the Lakers. Okay, but we we went back and forth because you no, said, we definitely I said Denver. Back and you forth. said Boston, right? I did say Boston. I saw this is my five: Boston, Philly, Thunder, Mavericks, Clippers. Yeah, and then so we were going back and forth. I think I said Denver. Y'all both had Boston. Nah, I well, said I mean, we both agreed on Boston. Oh, I mean, okay, cool. uh, yeah, yeah. Mine, mine was Milwaukee, Denver, Minnesota. Miami. Miami and LA. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Well, I said we drafted it, but then we went on ahead and talked about it and talked like realistically about like what uh or who would be a contender in because I wasn't Miami. about to pick the Kings, I wasn't about to pick the Warriors, I wasn't about to pick the Suns. Yeah. And I I felt I mean, I don't know. I know I was high on the Mavericks because they had a good start to the season. I mean, even though they kind of fell towards like the bottom of the standing. I wanna say the bottom of the standing, but like the dump in the play in area of the standings and then like you know, Luca just turned into MVP candidate overnight, dropping 30, 30 point triple doubles in the first half of games, and then Kyrie, you know, being Kyrie, and just that team gelling together as a whole, like the that's why they're up. here. So we got the like, like we saw in my like remission. Good lord, um, Dallas Mavericks, Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals. Um, who would have thought? You got Kyrie versus Boston, KP versus Dallas. You got Luca versus Tatum. Man, we it's got exciting. we got a good finals, man. We got listen. You got two black head coaches too. First since Ty Lue and um Mike Brown in 2017. See, I'm gonna be honest, bro. What Mike Brown? Yeah. That's what that's what was said because I I don't want to say Steve Kerr might have missed like a game or two. I, I kind of remember Steve Kerr missing a game for like surgery or something like that. But he's not the head coach though. He wasn't the head coach, but he had he coached a game. You know what? That's Listen. crazy. Because he did coach. No, no, I remember Mike Brown did coach him in that playoff run because Steve Kerr was going like had like some type of injury yeah, or some type of like yeah surgery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but that was like so Chris Fitz didn't coach the last two series. I thought, I mean, I thought it was always Mike Brown. I don't know. It's I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Oh, no. I saw the stat on Twitter. That's monumental, though. You know what I'm saying? Congrats Let's to the, the men. That's monumental. If you consider Joe a coach. Well, it says, it says, all right, Jason Pitt and Joe Mazzula become the third <laughs> pair of black hair coaches in <laughs> NBA Finals history. You, you, you think he the, he the puppet, right? I mean, I, I mean, he just there, for sure. I mean, that's 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 what it seemed like to me. Mm. Ain't much you got to coach. But that's mm-hmm. right. time to call a timeout, bro. Coach. That, that's it. All right, <laughs> that's all it is. He looked back. He say, he's "Oh, like, oh okay." Hold on, let it let it go three more minutes. Let them get this fifteen zero run in, and then I'll call him. Yeah. So if you consider okay. that, then congrats, congrats to him. I saw you had the highest winning percentage in NBA history. I said, "Oh yeah, nice." Oh, come on. Very nice. Very nice. I'm hating, per usual, though. Oh, yeah. As the co-host of Only Haters. Shout out my game. Yeah. 
you know, it's plenty of storylines, you know what I'm saying, for this this finals, and I'm with it. I feel like my favorite storyline, though, I know a lot of people are probably going to say Kyrie and the Celtics fans or the Celtics in general, but it's really the Tatum and Luka discourse because, like, if yeah. Tatum wins, then – you got like, this is really the future of the NBA we talking about right here. This is what people don't understand. This is the the, the future of the NBA that we talking about. I mean, I know we was on the the ant. I mean, which is understandable. We on the you know what I'm saying we own many people that could do it, but this is really the best two players for real. No pause or nothing as you think I'm about to say. Oh, I to re- to re- turn back like what? But for real though, y'all see what I'm saying? Like obviously no, 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 yeah, yeah. Like Jokic all and everything, serious, but it's serious, like yeah. Tatum and Luca the next. Evolution, bro. No, nah, for real. I know um earlier this season, as you know, talking contender talk and stuff uh throughout the year, I was like, I feel like this is the year that you know that next generation um emerges, you know. Lightning McQueen meme. What's the other guy that like passing the Jackson Storm? Yeah. It's that Queen is fading. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. So I mean, we saw like the big dogs get <laughs> knocked out of the early rounds, you know, Steph lost in the playing. Um you got the the Lakers and the Suns that lost, you know, LeBron and um what's my call it? KD lost early in the playoffs. So oh. I mean, hey. It's it's unfortunate. That time. You know that con- but that it's con- good con- hoops here. here. It's good hoops here for sure, for sure. We got two teams. Uh one of the better defensive teams in the Boston Celtics up against one of the more dynamic offensive teams in the Dallas Mavericks, man, with Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic, what they can do, and then just with their big men, like how they're all law threats and just fun to watch and stuff too, and just two good teams up against each other. Um, Tariq, what is your favorite storyline headline heading into this finals matchup? I'm not normally for the toxicity. Oh, Kyrie and Boston. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. I need to Yeah, I need, I need one game winner. Mm. Whether it be game one, game two, or game six, or game seven, like just Kyrie game winner, just go step on lucky again, like just. <laughs> oh, you know you got that stage on deck, bro. You know it's in the suitcase. <laughs> That'd be nuts, though. Honestly, if he hits a game winner, game one, he might not make it for game two. Hey, they go. They all find that hotel. They not. Nah, it's not even crazy, <laughs> bro. Come on, man. We know how Boston fans get down. I know this podcast probably censored. <laughs> So I apologize, all the viewers. I know y'all have great fan, a great fan base, a great following. <laughs> all I'm saying is this, and if you're from Boston, hey, my brother, it's just the deck of the cards. But I'm it's just not, saying, it's not a brother. Hey, yeah, it, you're oh, not, not man, a brother. No, but, but I I'm get saying, you. I, listen, Pete, I get you wholeheartedly, bro. Like, <laughs> it, it'd be trouble. That's all I'm saying. It'd listen, be trouble. Listen, man, I'll, security better be on deck because yeah, fans are weird. Fans are wild. Like the man got a water bottle, a full water bottle, a full Dasani bottle. Throwing at him his first game back in like in Brooklyn, like yeah, yeah they're gonna be throwing yeah. something else. For sure. Honestly, is Kyrie Kyrie needs to get back because yeah, the last time he saw them in the playoffs, he got smoked. Yeah, they brought him brooms out and yep. it was like see you. Yo, so he's he's really, I don't know if anybody has redeemed themselves more in the last year in sports in general, than Kyrie has in the last year or so. Oh, yeah. Like, when he got traded, like, when he was on the market, how many teams, like, actually wanted him besides the Lakers? Like, we didn't even really know that the Mavericks the were Mavs really took a chance for real. Like, and, and, I mean, it's a good chance to take being this Kyrie Irving being a type yeah, of basketball He got player traded for Dorian Finney-Smith and Spencer Dinwiddie, bro. Not even a draft pick of all. Appreciate it, Brooklyn. Thanks. Right. We they relax, do relax, they relax. do two filler players. I think they might have got a draft pick, but I'm not. I'm not completely. Sure. Well, they if they did, it, it was towards this draft. It'd be totally like I say, it might have been like a second round pick or something. But nice to get Kyrie Irving for two role players, like that's crazy. I'm trying to think if it was somebody and else. That's in that how draft. low his value I'm not was. That trade that they involved that we wave. That's how low his value was at that time, and now. People are talking about him being the best number two ever, or like considered one of the best number twos ever. Oh yeah, when for sure. That's for sure. To a LeBron, Luca, and everyone knew that it was just the off the court talk was so much louder. Yeah. Than his aim at that at that point because he wasn't on the court as much. He wasn't on the court enough to make people quiet with his with his game. 
What's crazy about Kyrie is, bro, I really treated the NBA like a part-time job and was going Yeah, crazy. bro, like, bro, was just like, yo, like, we got bigger fish than our, bro, be. like, we don't got to do this, do that. We can start our own league if we really wanted to, like, just saying whatever, dog, like. Yeah, he's nuts for that, though. Yeah, <laughs> bro, we don't need it. We don't need a head coach. We can run the team ourselves. What? Well, that's what the Celtics do, so, I mean, hey. I mean, so um, it's cool. I mean, it, it reminds me, bro. Kyrie going to Boston really remind me of John Cena in 0506 going into ECW. <laughs> like, that's they what they, the they, th- they throwing the shirt back. Like, bro, it's really yeah. on tight timing like that. If you're bro. real WWE fans, you know what I'm talking about. So, oh, like, yeah. it's going to be hostile. It's going to be real crazy in there. Yeah, and yeah. they, they going to hold signs. If Kyrie wins, we riot. I'm telling you, <laughs> they're going to be on that timing. Listen, bro, I hope Dallas got the best security team in Boston, bro, because it's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, oh, go ahead. I, I, hope, I hope it's more, you know, on the court stuff. I hope there's more. I hope like, so, too, bro. Yeah, facts. Because facts. We've, are, we've seen what the off-the-court talk has been the last couple of days. Like, I just want to, can we talk about basketball? Like, can we talk Get about back the, to the game. Can we talk about the hoops? Like, I thought we was lovers of the game. Right. I thought we loved basketball. Right. When are we gonna talk about that? Now I ain't gonna lie. The drama makes the basketball fun, you know, and it's like a TV show at the end of the day. Like that's why we laugh and that's why we tune into the NBA on the day on on the, on the regular, like we used, like we do, because of the storylines and stuff that make the league what it is. Same with the W, but for it to get blown out of proportion the way it does sometimes, like we gotta we gotta reel it back. We gotta reel it back. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. hey, the storylines help what make the product what it is. You know, like Kyrie going up against his old team for. The ultimate prize here is intriguing enough for to get some people to get a lot of people to watch or get whoever to watch. Um, but yeah, no, I agree that being able to see Kyrie get his get back is oh something gosh. that I'm I'm interested in. Uh, I know my my net fans probably gonna hate me for this, but all right. ten of them. Hey, relax on us. <laughs> all right, so let me ask you something, Bryce. Not not Nets related, of course. Yeah. Do you feel like the Porzingis revenge storyline is a reach? I was, it, I was just about to say that. Is it a reach? Is it is because to me it's kind of played. I like, mean, it's a connection there. I, don't, I really had to look and see if I'm like, is is there anybody else playing against their old team in this series? But it's not, and I'm like trying to see a connection, whatever. And I'm like, I get it. Yeah, KP is playing against his old team, but it's not like him and Luca had a fall now, or like it was like a big did, deal. Though. I mean, they did, it but did. it. But it wasn't like it was like a big deal the way like on the level of Kyrie and Boston. That was Mavericks. Hmm. That's because the Dallas Mavericks. If they was on yeah, LA, yeah. If they were in L.A. or New York, it would have been a bigger deal. I say because if this was the Boston Celtics versus the New York Knicks, yeah. Like nobody, nobody talked about it because it happened in Dallas. But people were saying that nobody could play with Luca. You couldn't put a star or all star talent next to Luca. Mm-hmm. Kyrie Chris Stapps went on multiple podcasts. Talking about Luca, Luca went on a podcast talking about Chris Tapp. Mm. Uh Rick Carlisle talking about both of them. Then mm. left, yeah, left Luca to go play to go go coach in Indiana. Came like, up short. That there was crazy a lot. Too. There was a lot that came from that. Like Porzingis, they sent that boy to Washington. Yeah. Nobody was like, oh, well, we done with Porzingis, and then he started hooping in Washington. Now you in Boston, like, oh, now it's over. Like, make up your mind. So, like, yeah. I still, I don't know if it's gonna be like crazy bad blood. But I know for a fact it's there. He yeah. will be pissed if yeah. they lose. Luca get one. He got to be on the court for that. Yeah, yeah, no, most definitely. Like I said, it's smoke there, and it's not. It's a it's a storyline, but I'm saying it's not on the level of the Kyrie because Kyrie yeah. was in a bigger market. Uh, yeah. he's a bigger starting Chris Stops. He Porzingis, like it's just Porzingis bigger. Go, like it just everything. Just like a bigger story there, you know. Porzingis didn't go out and say that he was coming back and then not come back. Yeah. That's Przingis also didn't. Pre, Przingis also I'm didn't go. Przingis also didn't go and flick off uh, Dallas fans. Didn't go go and stomp on the Dallas logo. Um, I'll be back if y'all have me. Yeah. Now, see people. People forget that last part. If you have me. Nah. They wasn't having, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying this whole time. Yeah, they were. Nah, they was. <laughs> They were. They were. <laughs> said, no, 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 because because Kyrie, listen, Kyrie became listen. He 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 initiated no contact with the boy like late season, like honestly, bro. Like that man went MIA, bro, and played terrible. Would you, would you terrible. lead two though? 
if mm-hmm. he was hurt and then they, you know, so they make that run and then people saying, yo, we didn't even need Bron in the first place. No. When you lead too. They still got crazy talent. I'm saying. Well, it wasn't them that said it. it was people outside of like Boston that were saying that. If he's for sure, but if you ain't feeling love for the fans, you know, when you want to leave. I mean, yeah, if you wasn't feeling loved by the fans, then why go go to where you are loved? Okay. Talk to him, Tariq. What you think? You you saying no. So what you what you tell him? If he him? stayed, they would have had a chip, at least one chip. Oh, yeah. Now. Yeah. You and understand. he went he went where he was loved and ended up being disliked. Again. So going where you love don't necessarily mean you're gonna stay loved. Well, he's in, he's in he's in Dallas now, and he loves are. Dallas, and Dallas loves him. They're supposed to love you for who you are, and we saw what Kyrie did to Cleveland. Granted, he knew LeBron was leaving, so he did that, and then we saw he did to Boston. So why would you expect him to do something different in New York just because New York? No, he showed us who he was. Yeah, but like I said, he's had a big redemption from the last year or so, and I would say it's the biggest in sports to this point. Man, so Kyrie you, you is a you master Batman, finesse. Kyrie is a master finesse, bro. Like that man. That's no, I, I mean, listen, listen, hear me out here. Hear me out here. Let me let me explain. Comes into the season, what, last year? Killing, cooking. Ain't no COVID restrictions, all that other stuff, whatever. He's an all-star, right? Becomes an all-star. Right and before what? the trade, he boosts his trade stock of it, all that other stuff, whatever, right? Right before the trade deadline, he acts out. Like, with a week left in the trade deadline, he's like, look, trade me. Trade me while I'm not playing. Like, basically, just like, yo, trade me. I'm, I'm out of here, whatever, right? After teasing all season... After tease him and KD teasing them, even whatever in the all season, they all that they're like, all right, no, we buying in, we buying in, back, we buying in, bro. Them boy went on an eighteen and two run, eighteen and two stretch. I mean, it was more surprising KD requesting that trade rather than Kyrie because Kyrie during the whole COVID yeah. thing was kind of like they was really playing his face. K- KD just was there to hoop, like KD just really wanted to hoop for real. But they, they, they weren't they making the moves or just like I, mean, I don't know. And he would have been in the same spot that he's in right now in Brooklyn, so he might as well stay there. Exactly. But he <laughs> hey, I mean, he probably hey, I'm just hey, that's a he ain't got nothing to say. They would have built okay. around listen, they would have built around him. And like I felt like the pieces that they got, like I felt like Dorian Finney Smith could have worked out for like on a team with Kevin Durant, being that or, or being that or, the Nets needed wings. That you was the thing. They needed you, wings. You could have took Westbrook. They... No. You could have took Westbrook. And no. you could have took them two first. Then re- repackage Westbrook right back off. You at least have some first round draft picks right now, right? They cooking with something. They might get that third pick. So they might get that third pick. And then what you gonna do with that? Who you who you gonna draft that third pick? I'll get back to you in a week about that. But they um gonna, gonna draft Reed Shepard. Yeah. That boy tough. You hey, hey, you can attest to that three. Lakers offered package centered around Russell Westbrook two future right. round picks to the Mavs last season, or prior to the Mavs deal last season. Right, and they went with uh, no. Dorian Finney-Smith and, and Spencer Dinwiddie in a second. Hey, yeah. Dorian Finney-Smith played some good minutes this year, so I'm not mad at it. Man, oh my gosh, man. Anyways, back to the subject at hand, though. Um <laughs> That ain't like, even your brand of basketball. I don't I'm about to say, like where is he minutes. even going? Like, where, where, where was this even going? What are you even talking about? We used to talk about, about Kyrie. Storyline, you know what I'm saying? We were talking about Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie in his storyline. Well, particularly his storyline, too. But I would say they went on an 18 2 run, the, uh, the Nets, and then he axes out a week before the trade deadline, gets traded, and, and it's like the smoke just, just gets cleared, you know? Like, Nobody really talks about him. He's out the media. He's out the out the out the way, and he's just hooping. And it's just hoops with Kyrie now. Like he's not got to he don't got to respond to people. All that stuff, whatever. That's what I'm saying. Kyrie is a top tier finesse. He finessed his way. He he knew how good he was. He he knew what he could do. He played himself up to where he can get traded for a good yeah. value, or whatever, for a favorable, whatever, right? And then got traded, and now he's in the finals. And the Brooklyn Nets are without a draft pick at the moment. So I can't even say he a massive finesse. I really think Kyrie was just young and in his own way. Like I think that real. I think that too. I think that too. Like I think he even just in really Boston, stumbled around. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like even in Boston, or even like when he uh requested a trade from Cleveland to go to Boston, he wanted to go and try to lead his own team rather than being under LeBron. And LeBron saw about he oh, I was ready to get Kyrie the keys, whatever, just that and that. And I mean, 
Hey, in another world, another dimension, uh, uh um, another universe, LeBron and, and Kyrie are still teammates to this day. But Kyrie realized he was like, oh, it takes a lot to guide a team and, and to lead a team. So, see, and I call that I call like, that fake maturity. Point, yeah, he wasn't there yet. Now he's like to a point where he's like accepting his role. You know, he knows it's not his team, but he's a leader on the team, and he's helping these guys out, helping these guys win a championship. I think he went through a phase. I don't want to say he think he thought he was smarter than everybody, but I think he was trying to like I don't want to say trick everybody either, but he was trying to be better than everybody. That's that's exactly he what won he that won. first championship very young. He was like what 23, 24 when that first championship. But the way he won it though, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, in a sense, he was the man. So he was like, you know what, I'm gonna go be the man. Then when right. it didn't work out, he's like, that's where I said the fake maturity kick in because he like, right. all right, y'all, I, I'm not the man. But I right. still kind of want to be the man, so I'm gonna go lead right. my team in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And then when that ain't worked out, and then he saw that everybody wasn't wasn't on that same page, ready to pick him up, he said, "Okay, I need to, you know, what I'm saying go back to the drawing board." Yeah, I need. Bro, to he was out. 23 when he won the championship, bro. He was 23. He was 23 yeah. on that. Oh, on that yeah, he was ball. one and done. He was one and done. It's 23. Yeah. So he was. When they're at 23, man, I ain't gonna lie. You, hey, me be a part of a championship team at 23, you can't tell me nothing. And you couldn't tell him nothing. Exactly. This is why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we're here. Now he's what? Let me see. Let me go back. I think I said he was what? 32. 32. He got a lot of ball left if he wants it. Pause. No deal. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> he does, though. He, has he a got lot a lot of left in the tank, as we say. He got a lot left in the tank. For sure. Um, On the other side of the, of the, of the court, though, we got Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. You know, two of... Um, two lottery picks from the Brook. No, no. Uh, uh. See, doc, I don't. I ain't want to go there with it. I did not want to go there with it. I was having a discussion earlier. I was like, yeah, these are Brooklyn's picks. But Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, the Jays, uh, been cornerstone. Ooh, ooh. Angel said no mail, but <clears throat> Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, the Jays. They've been balling. They've been cornerstones of the Boston Celtics franchise for the past since they got to the league. Lord. Danny Ainge was not trying to let the boys go, and rightfully so. You know, got two All NBA players on your on your squad now. Um, Danny is not part of not not part of Boston anymore, but you see why this this team wanted to hold on to those two and built their team around those two. Uh, Jason Tatum and talks of being, you know, I know it's like a lot of talk early in the season about who will be that next face of the league. Jason Tatum was in that talk. Jason Tatum was in MVP talks early on in the season as well. Uh, same with Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic, MVP candidate, finished third in the MVP votes. Um, not going to lie, he probably should have won. But, um, don't do I mean, that. He, had a, he, had a, he had a great case. He had a great don't do that. case. Don't do that. Wait, hold on. Wasn't? Were you on here when we were talking about who should have been MVP? I'm pretty sure you said Shay. I did. Who'd you say, Bryce? I said definitely... Shay as well. I said Shay as well. And it took you, and now you switching up. This is back to back years. You switching up after the playoffs game. <laughs> Yo, this listen, is the bad. playoffs. Just, listen, the playoffs just be emphasizing of why players should be deserving things. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's why they need a postseason what? MVP. Yeah, like I don't know. Like if I feel all right, I feel like if I watch more, like of these players' games, like if I watch more Mavs games, so I watch more uh, uh uh Nuggets games, I would have different opinions, obviously. But no, you would. You would. So I wouldn't. He would. I don't think uh, you think so. I don't think you I would. I know though. so, bro. Like I'm no, being for real here. I'm, I'm being I'm being critical why? of myself in this moment. Do you know why it would be it would be a good thing? And why he would notice? Because that means he's watching less Cam Thomas. He's watching more. Luka. Oh my gosh, bro! Why are we bringing what? Cam Thomas? What you say, F Cam Thomas for? <laughs> I didn't say that. You said that. I, I said you're that. watching less Cam Thomas. You're watching less. You're not watching a Jordan Poole. You're not watching. Oh, Jordan. okay, okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I you're watching. Yo, hey, this is why I gotta let people finish their sentences. Exactly. Nigga. I'm working on that too. I'm working on myself. I'm working on myself here. All right. I'm getting better. All right. I told y'all yeah, what I did are. today. Yeah, you I, filled he, your I, gas tank. I, I, come car. on now, come on now. Where, you wearing progress? A you know what progress. I'm you I had a pokeball before we started recording, man. That's progress. All you need now is a UNC shirt, and you'll be no, smooth. no, 
No, I got this shirt on, man. My Duke boys representing, man. My fault. Jason Tatum, Kyrie, Derek Lively. They here. They ain't they ain't been back to the campus since they, they attended. I mean, so, they busy. They busy right now. I know they oh, had yeah, sure. I know they had the brotherhood camp this past week or so, oh, whenever. Yeah, for sure. All the Duke alum was there. I saw Grayson Allen's there, but because see, Grayson Allen was chilling at the crib. They gave you a thumbs up. They know you capping. You know who ain't been chilling <laughs> at the crib? Kyrie, Jason Tatum, and Derek Lively because they going for that chip. I seen Derek Lively showing off Legos on, on yeah. TikTok. That yeah. man ain't attend the brotherhood camp. He was building Legos. Them boys got jets. They got commercial or uh, charter flights. They could have made it. No, they in playoff mode. Boy, they had a week off. They had over a week off. They in playoff mode. Yeah, over a week off. They in playoff mode. They in playoff mode. They in playoff mode, bro. Man, whatever. Anyways. Anyways, the Jays. Uh, It's good to see that they're playing well and they have led the team back to the finals once again after falling short in 2022. Um. And I feel like this is their time now. I feel like this is the time for them to show who show the league who they are. Show everybody who they are. They on the world stage now, bro. It's there, it's time for them to step up and be those players and tap into that potential that you know people have been giving them or people have been talking about with them for the longest. Okay, so Boston. you said what? Are you picking Boston? I'm not picking Boston. How you gonna say that? I'm Isn't saying no, no, no. I'm saying I'm saying what this finals is for. I'm saying this finals like it's for them to show who they really are in these finals. You know, can they lead the Boston Celtics to the chip? Can can Jason Tatum t- do what it takes to carry his team on his shoulders and, and be so all that guy? That not doing that, huh? So listen, <laughs> you're saying all that to say they're not doing that. I mean, they can do, they can perform well and still lose. Yeah. What you Subjective. take away from it is what you take away from it, bro. But I mean, if they do play well at a high level, listen, it depends. It's a lot to post. It's six. I mean, not six. It's four games that they gotta play at minimum. Seven games at max, depending on how. Varying factors. We're just trying to predict it, but it's varying factors in what can happen and what we're trying or what we're saying can happen. Same with Luca. A lot of people talk about Luca being the face of the league coming up, or, or as he's coming up and everything. A lot of people talk about Luca being one of the best to play this game, as he is. He has a crazy resume as is right now. You know, like, well, he has a great resume as of right now. You know. He has a crazy resume. Yeah, he, he I had to think about. I had to think about it. I, I didn't because he didn't really have like a lot of awards. You know, he, like, he's five time first team, but NBA. all team. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying awards though. I'm not. He hasn't had an MVP, BPOY, none of that. Like he won Rookie of the Year. Well, I mean, he's other up, than that, he hasn't stacked it up. He hasn't got a chip. He hasn't gotten MVP. But I mean, he can knock two birds with one stone and get Finals MVP and get a chip, and that says a lot. Kawhi Leonard. For sure. There you go. Now, it's just the potential and the possibility that could happen and that could really shape how we talk about these players moving forward and shape this next generation of hoops. This is an important finals. Oh, this is an important yeah. finals to a lot of people. As right sure. as it should be. All right. So look, let me ask you something, Bryce. What's oh, up? I feel like this is a perfect time to just get on they uh they path, like how we got here. I mean, what we we want to start with the Celtics path. Yeah, yeah, because they ain't just get it overnight. They ain't, the NBA ain't just pick teams out of I feel like the they people need to know. You know, what they competed. So if, in case you've been living under a rock for the past couple months, um, the Celtics Damn, I'm under a rock. Damn. In case you've been off the grid for the past couple months. Okay, okay. Uh, Celtics they beat the Bulls first round, the Cavs second round, and the Pacers third round. Um. Bulls were the eighth seed after winning. Wait, no, no, they played Miami first. They played Miami first, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I keep mixing. I've been mixing that up all day. I, yeah, I don't worry it. about it. I didn't I was, need to I, I mix that up. But I thought, I thought somebody else played. The, I thought the Heat was seventh. That's well, my one. Know, that's my, my one mix had, up of the day. That's well, my Miami one mix up of the drop day. Off the Bulls. They had to drop off the Bulls. The okay. That's yeah. my one mix up. Miss, uh, 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 mix we lost to Philly. Philly was the seventh seed. Yeah. Philly, Philly, was. Played, Philly played New Philly, York first. Philly was. Philly was. Yep, yep. We'd have yeah. beat New York first round, too. Subject. All right, Jimmy Butler. He'd have came back. He'd have been able to talk. So, they did not beat the Bulls. <laughs> they, beat the, they beat the Heat first round. But they won the second round. Pace's third round. Um... 
two gentlemen sweeps, run regular sweep. They took care of business. They did what they needed to do as the best team in the league. They took care of business, you know. Uh, I know people had already oh, got a cupcake uh, 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 route to the finals. Da, da, da. I mean, same time, games still got to get played. You still got to take care of business. Still got to do it. You just got to play who in front of you, huh? And, and they're the best team. They should have the most favorable route to the championship. They're playing the lowest seeded players. I mean, the lower seeded teams all the way through. Same with. I'm trying to think of what else to put. Like, I'm trying to think. Um, like the Nuggets last year. I'm not saying they had an easy route, but they played against the the Lakers last year in the Western Conference Finals and swept them. As hey, they should. You, I'm gotta... sorry, P. I'm sorry you getting a lot of slander today, bro. You you catching a lot of unnecessary jabs. Like you catching a lot of strays like, bro, right now, bro. Because whenever I get on Brooklyn, you talking about chill, chill. But I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, man. This is not a way we. This is not a way to treat treat your guests. I'm sorry. It's cool. I'm being a bad host right now. Yeah, it's alright. Oh. But <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts on the Celtics' pass to the finals, though, my brother? Um, uh, me personally, cupcake, Mickey Mouse, but. <laughs> I mean, I mean, when you play Miami without Jimmy, you play Cleveland without Mitchell, you play the Pacers without Halley, you know what I'm saying, for half of the time. I mean, cool, it's Mickey Mouse, but you still had a business, like you said. So, I mean, realistically, though, I'm more appalled that these dudes was losing games at home than anything. Mm. That's what yeah. I'm more appalled about, and that's yeah. telling to me. Yeah. But they're still a dominant team, and, you know, they gonna do what they gotta do, regardless. I, I feel like they've had a good playoff run so far because they've had Porzingis get hurt and then unlikely yep. figures stepping up and doing what they. I mean, bro, we watched Drew Holiday drop twenty eight in a playoff game. Bro. I, I didn't know that was even possible. I'm just being honest. I didn't even know. I say when the last time you dropped twenty eight in a playoff game. So I, I mean, their team they're showing that they have a team that's very oh, capable of doing things. I mean, we watched Hauser drop. 20 in a playoff game <laughs> to repeat it because he knew who it was against. So it's like we watched that. Man. So I mean, I just feel like they're deep. And then it's they're a good team, bro. As much yeah. as I hate them, they're a really good team. Yeah. Not mad at it. How you feel? How you feel about the route, Bryce? Um, I want to say it's cupcake. Like I said, they just took care of business, took care of who was in front of, like just beat who was in front of them. They're they're good. Um I think I have something else to say. Um, yeah, they 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 took it up like it took care of business. That's all. Um, Tariq, what do you guys say? You know, I want to watch when Tariq has what he has to say. I'm gonna be reminded of what I had to say, and I'm gonna interrupt Tariq. Like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. How's it gonna go? I already know. Um, I don't I don't think it was you know uh easy route, but I can see why people. Are trying to say like it wasn't a super impressive, you know, run through the East, um, and I think most of it is due to people being injured. But that's the thing in every playoff run, you could look at every team that's won a championship and say that they've gotten some kind of help. I think I want to say outside of Toronto, to be honest. I mean, obviously they did in the finals when KD went down and then Clay went down, but going into it, like they had to play. I mean, they played Orlando first round. That's not really, like, nothing crazy. But you played Philly, went seven with them when they had Ben Simmons when he was at his best, mm -hmm. and be Tobias, Jimmy, and then you had to play Giannis and them. So, outside of what that. About the, uh, what about the the bubble Lakers, man? I mean, that was a pretty tough was, run. You remember they were saying that the Blazers was the greatest eighth seed ever. You know what I'm saying? So, the I, mean, I mean, I'm just going off the narratives. Like, what about bro, the Lakers? If we're going to keep it a buck, them Blazers had to – Dame didn't even want to go to the bubble because he didn't think they was going to have a chance. That's him for being weak. <laughs> that's, on, that's on him for being weak. We know how he get down. Said, I ain't going for no reason. But, I mean, their path was – I would say their path was easy. Um, I mean, they, they did play Miami without Dragic and Bam, but we're going to leave that there. My fault. Just, just saying. And if uh, Mason Plumley didn't decide to, you know, switch something that you can't switch on, y'all might not even want to what's the conference finals. But that's that's neither here nor there as well. Um, My fault. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look, like obviously they got a little bit. They got they got some luck with Jimmy being out. 
you know, before the series. Scope Kennedy before the series, and then Donovan Mitchell getting hurt. But let's give it a buck. If those teams were healthy, are any, win it anyway. You said so, what? are any of those three teams beating them healthy? No, no, they would be. They they would have been. They would have played a couple more games. Miami, but. we might have taken the six. Yeah, maybe. But honestly, Miami got some dogs. We wasn't about to get them real problems. And then Cleveland, they was losing at five regardless, mm-hmm. whether or not Donovan was playing. And then Pacers might have got one if Halliburton didn't get hurt. But the only real threats to them, and I wouldn't even say threats, because we've we haven't seen Philly be a threat to them, or beat them mm-hmm. is Milwaukee and Milwaukee wasn't healthy either. So yeah. you really can't say, oh well they they had this like they support now if they would have lost, y'all would have said it's the worst loss ever. So it's like Yeah. It's a lose lose. Like it, if they it was if a they, lose lose for sure. If they win, you're gonna say that it was Mickey Mouse. I I, I don't mean Mickey Mouse, but like you're gonna say like I ain't impressed and then if they lose you're gonna be like man this team is trash break it up blah 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 so it's like what do you want? Like that's when it gets to like y'all ain't even really like like basketball at that point. Like y'all just, nah, y'all for just... Sure. <laughs> I do I do really just like hating on them, bro. Honestly, because you know everybody called our Lakers chip Mickey Mouse. So I would just love to return a favor and say this Mickey but, uh, Mouse. But honestly, they win these finals. It's 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 legit though, because the Mavs are yeah. on the flip side, the Mavs road is extremely tough. Man, man people and then we're had to go through the clippers. Go through, I mean, go first, through I mean, the, the thunder. On. Like the Clippers, though, come on, we knew what they was gonna do. I know the Clippers were gonna clip, and I said that in two weeks that I was hating. You were, I mean, I'm a hater of them too, so I mean, you were, though. Well, what they do in the playoffs, tour dates. If Kawhi didn't get hurt, they'd have been straight, yeah. I, I ain't saying they would have won, but they, I said they'd been straight because I'm pretty sure I picked the Mavs to win that series. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I might let's get been. into it. Let's get into it, Bryce. Let, let's get but, on the Mavericks. Yeah, road. so the Mavericks, mm-hmm. Dallas Mavericks, man, they've been battle tested. They went through probably one of the toughest routes to the chip uh, that we've seen this some time, or to, to the finals that we've seen this some time. Uh, they beat the Clippers, uh, they beat the Thunder, and they beat the Wolves. And they took care of business in all three of those series, bro. They got the first two games on the road against the Wolves. Uh, no, that was domination, some, though. Domination, bro. That's what I'm saying. When I say they took care, they took care of business. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell the viewers at the crib, right? So obviously on MMG, we, you know, we write articles about you know, previewing a series. Yeah. And I said that series was gonna go in five, but the opposite team. <laughs> I thought the Wolves was gonna win in five. Like that was so I mean the no, number was sick, but so I mean that's what I'm saying. Like this map team is extremely, extremely, extremely tough. And I don't think people realize how tough they are. They really gave it, it wasn't even the offense for me, bro. It's it was the defense. How intense the defense yeah. got down the stretch of these games. Yeah, and I I couldn't believe it, bro. So I looked up their defensive rating today out of curiosity in the playoffs, and I think it was one twelve point three, and Boston's is one hundred nine point three. So it's not that far off at all. Mm. You know, what I'm saying? especially the, the like in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean hot- for sure. Playoffs. But the Mavs, though, I was looking at that and I was like, okay, 112, like, okay, that's – but the team, the offensive teams that they have played, you would think it would be outrageous. You know what I'm saying? Flippers, Thunder, Wolves. Right. You you playing against Mr. 31 over there, you know what I'm saying, on. SGA. Come on. And, and you playing against Ant. Come on. And it's like, I don't know. And that game uh, five was insane. That game five was insane, bro. You can tell they wanted that rest, though. I knew what that locker yeah, room was talking about. Yeah, we, we want this rest. Yeah, that's what that was about. And Kyrie knew he had to play against against. Uh, he had a shot to play in Boston. Shit, I'm telling so you I, that. I have a Listen. question. All right, we, got, we might got some, we might got some answers. What's up? What's the difference between Luca and Tatum? Like, why is Luca praise, but Tatum isn't? And their their careers are super similar. Outside of the conference finals, their careers are very similar. Like, look at the accolades. I feel like P might have the same Tatum answer. Tatum is right there. Tatum well, I, I don't know if I have the same answer as you, but I feel like it's different because of the 2022 finals. If Tatum would have lost and played great, I feel like the conversation would be different. But the fact yeah. that he went out sad 
Yeah. And then, but did he play as bad as people are saying, or did he just struggle being a young player in the finals? That's why I think it I, was. I, I think, think he just struggled being ahead, a young player. My fault. Go no, ahead. no, you go. No, you go. Okay, ahead. okay, okay. I think <laughs> you sure? I'm positive. I'm gonna still remember. So okay, okay, okay. As long as you still remember, but. I remember watching that finals and thinking that, yeah, because he, I mean, they ran against a, a warrior squad that's been there and done it before, for the most part, the core of that warrior squad. I mean, you got still got still has Steve Kerr coach and still has Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green on that squad. Um, who else? Uh, uh, Kevon Looney on that squad. Like that team is just more experienced than a young Celtic squad that was trying to get trying to figure it out or finally getting over the hump of being in the Eastern Conference Finals. And, and, and finally, you know, being in the finals. Now, you know, they take what they learned from that experience, from being in the finals, and leading their team to a finals again up against another team who isn't really experienced and have finals experience, being that Kyrie's the only player with finals experience on that team. Right. It's, I mean, the odds are in their favor right now. So Correct. I, I feel like, personally, what affected Tatum the most outside of him being young Outside of all of that stuff, I personally believe, and I tell JK this all the time. Shout out JK, my dog. Shout out JK. I personally believe he played too much basketball. Mm. Too much. He went from an interconference finals, jumped into the Olympics, back all the way to a finals run. And at some point, that's going to catch up with you no matter how old you are. I feel like he played too much basketball. On the flip side of it, his Robin to his Batman played great in that finals. So yeah, it made yeah. you look like you went out way more sad than you are. Right. And then number three, you texted my man's I got you today and you lost. That, that's what I was gonna go with. It. That's what I was gonna go with. It. I mean, that's I, was, I didn't people, really want to go there, but that's another thing either. too. It's the but, it's the connection. Like he go, like I, I get listen, the, the man influenced me. The man influenced a lot of people. He influenced this current generation of athletes. You look at the Nike shoes today, they all like different variations of the Kobe's right now. They they all you try them on, they feel like Kobe's. Like I'm not even gonna cap to you. Like for sure. Yes. Kobe is a standard. Kobe is the mold for these young guys that are in the league today. Everybody is, you know, a I don't want to say a descendant, but like come from that Kobe cloth, you know, like that everybody right. wanna try to possess mom mentality. Everybody wanna be, you know, whatever. They look after Kobe, they model the game after Kobe. They look up to Kobe because that's all they knew when they were watching the game. Just like everybody wanted to be Jordan. I wanna be, I wanna be like my like come on, bro. It's the same thing all over again. And then you got this never generation that wants to be like Braun and Paul George. So it's true. But I'm saying, right? You make that connection. <laughs> you you kind of, but like for real though, you kind of made that connection. You took, you had them photo shoots. You yeah. made that text message. Yeah. And you went out there and played like that. You put kinda that on yourself. Way, but kind of the same way Booker went out there and did that in that game six when he was in the finals. Be legendary. So that's, that's why we, hey, I know Tariq, I'm sorry. I ain't gonna lie. I like D book, but sometimes three. he. he I know you were shaking your head on that. Sometimes he can he can get the slander. Sometimes you know what I'm saying. So it's just that. But the difference between Luca is, it's just the he way he been, does it. He hasn't been there yet. I'm yeah, saying, he ain't been there. That's that. another thing too. Right. Yeah, Luca has. But it's the, have it's the way he's doing it though. You know what I'm saying? It's the way he willing his squad there. It look a little bit different than how Tatum doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it, it's 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 real easy to get behind Luca. I think that's what it is. It's real yeah. easy to get behind, bro. My dog book had forty two in a game four at Milwaukee. Okay, read me game six. Don't play around. Don't play around with that play around. <laughs> nah, that listen, listen. Book was that. Listen, book is still book is still book. All right, book yeah, is book that guy. Book, but book is that guy in elimination in elimination games? What time is it with him? I got I got, got twenty seven in game one, thirty one in game two. Mm -hmm. Ten in game three. That's bad. That's uh, bad. you let you let him back in the series at that point, essentially. Fair, fair. This is the final you're talking, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Forty two in game four. Yeah, that was crazy. I remember forty that. in game five. I remember that too. Crazy. And then nineteen in game six. Right. So it, it's time. It's time to send them home. Right at that point. Right. It's time to send them home, and you you do that. Nah, they, I got they, you. Oh, what? It wasn't time to send them home yet. No, it it wouldn't have been time to send them home. They would have had to play against seven because they was down three two. Yep. Okay. So yeah. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. It ain't his fault that Giannis dropped a fifty ball. A fifty. That's ball. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty ball <laughs> off the hurt, off the hurt. Uh, calf. I'm not calf. Off the hurt quad. 
or whatever he heard. Getting plucked by Drew Holiday to seal it, though, is your fault. <laughs> that is your fault. Drew Holiday is a good defender. Though. Tariq, that's, Tariq. That's a great play, bro. That's just yeah. Great. Tariq, Tariq, when the, when the clock was winding down and it's time to make a play, it's time to play Bryce Brian the basketball and you get plucked. I don't know what to tell you, gay. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to Bryce Brandon. Bryce Brandon Hoops was not in my favor when I was running earlier this week either. Hey, I'm telling you, it's time to be legendary on your shoes, and it wasn't that time. So I don't. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens I mean, hey, it, it even it, it it even happened with the man himself. Who's the man himself? Kobe. Oh, in the final? Oh yeah, it did. Oh four. I'm just saying, like it, it he has his highs and his lows, just like anybody. I else. mean, at the end of the day, though, you gotta, you know, what I'm saying he had to make his mold himself. <laughs> it was that time to make a mold himself. You know, what I'm saying that's all it was. <laughs> that's all listen, it was. listen, man, book book need to regain that team. Re regain that team. That's his team. It's all good. Sure. I just, I love and I love Luca games and I love Luca. Like I've been a, a huge that boy tough. I've been pushing his name on this podcast for however long we've been doing it. I just, it's just weird Three to see the difference. Like, and again, I'm always, I, I'm never one that's like super, like, oh, let me slander this player. Or I'm like, uh, I agree that somebody should get slandered. But like, Jokic lost in the second round, and not many people said anything about it. That's true, though. But Tariq, you know, it's a huge difference from going to six Eastern Conference finals and coming out with no chips. That's fair. That's fair. But you know how that is. You know the yeah, narrative black, after that. Black. When Giannis lost after the year he went, it was failure, all this other stuff. When Yogi's lost, it was crickets. Oh, well, he played great. What that mean? Well, I'm a hater anyway. So you hear it, you heard it from me. <laughs> I, I, just, I have a I have a thought. I have a thought, but I I'm not gonna go there with it. So I know what you're gonna say. Exactly. But I'm, I'm not I gonna did, go there with it. I mean, hey, you know, you know, and happen. all three of us know. Happen. So they also haven't been in this many moments. Like, Jason Tatum has been in the spotlight since he stepped into the league. His first game, Gordon Hubbard broke his fucking leg. Yeah. Literally. He's been in the spotlight since day one. He wasn't supposed to start. Gordon Hubbard broke his leg. He had to start that whole season. Yep. And get to the playoffs, get to the conference finals. He dunked on Braun. Game seven. Game. In game seven. How'd it end, though, Bryce? <laughs> how did it end? Everybody want to talk about the dunk, but they don't talk about how it ended. Hey, that, hey, that dunk, that dunk woke him up. That dunk woke up, Braun. He said, "Boy, who this little boy?" And, and, and locked in. I saw. I listen. That's one of the moments I seen Braun locked in. Like he see red. Like Braun no light bossing. He was hurt at this point too. Hey, dude. relax. You you waited so long just to say that. I was trying to talk so you had to say it. you waited so long just to say that. Dang, boy, hey, Tariq, no, like I said, Tariq, the my biggest hater, dog. Like, I do, I do rock with yeah. the brand Tatum got going though. I just feel like. At some point, you ain't cashing your chips yet. So it's like people are not going to keep investing in you, bro. I I mean, like we're not understand. seeing no return. So yeah, this is your chance. So if he wins, if they win and he gets finals MVP, do you think he'll get the credit he deserves? Or you think Absolutely. I think so, yeah. But I mean, I, I think, feel like it'll still get downplayed by their, um, yeah, by the their, their route there. But as the one seed... I mean, it's supposed to be that way. You're supposed to have it in your favor to play this, the um lower seed team because you're the one seed. You go I mean, the at the end of the day, he, he still has to go and win finals. You go against the winner of the four, five seed. Take they beat just one. What is it? The Larry Bird trophy? Is that the yeah? But Bird? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That uh, what's call it? They gave it to Brown. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, you you got to go. But that's my point. You can't leave it up to you can't leave it up to nobody else, bro. You gotta go snatch that. You yeah. gotta show the world, bro. So at some point, Tariq, you can be a dog, but you the bronze, the curries, they they showed the world why. Yeah. Why they yeah, are the biggest ones. of stages, bro? So you gotta show the world why you were like, the one. KD why we gotta get led, you. like KD led the Thunder on a um to the finals. And that route was no no small feat. <laughs> they went up against the last three champions out the West, and the Mavericks, the Lakers, and Spurs to get there. Like, and that's why that's part of why KD is who he is, or I would say was who he was, because people don't talk. I don't know. He tarnished Katie, it himself, though. Yeah, I'm gonna say, Kate. By the time it's said and done, KD, I don't know where we rank at KD all the time, bro. Like, and that's unfortunate for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you stay. 
If you stay and become that household, well, he was the household. Got player. asterisks on him. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, no, no. He deserved those. He deserved not, those. He deserved those. But, but, but not the second. The way he played. Not the second one. But he played. On I, the me team. personally, he joined, I feel like he deserved them both. He joined a seventy-three win not team. He I might not know ball though. I might not know ball. I'll give you the first one, not the second one. First one was crazy. Second was debatable. I'll say, I, I say that for sure. I'll say second was debatable, and I'll say because KD outscored Steph, it was it like was one game. It was game like a, yeah. KD out, out, like, Steph game. had like a, I want to say a bad game, but he had like maybe a game where he had like maybe like 20 or like something. Like that. Three point triple double at one point in that series, too. Listen, no, bro. Listen. But I guess what Steph KD was, had four complete games. Steph had Steph, one off game, Steph and that's Steph. what why they gave it to, to KD versus Question. when they gave it to Steph. Question. What's up? Proceed. Why was, why was KD getting them easy looks? We know why. The Ball offense, bro. Why. The offense. Like, and we know why. you saw how – you see how Jordan Poole played in that offense versus how he played now. The offense. It's the team it's that he's who, on. Who's the offense? Who's the offense? It's Steph. Who is the offense? It's Steph. It's his off-ball yes. movement. Simple. But it's, it, it was designed by Steve Kerr. We've seen that offense without Steph Curry on the court. Come on. Let's be real. Yeah, we know. We know Steph Curry. Yeah. But that, at the end of the day, though – Of Steph Curry, Draymond didn't play for an entire season. But right. listen, though, Tariq, at the end of the day, though, it's easy to say this. But KD still had to go in there and apply that pressure, though. That's a fact. I mean, he played his game. That's he a played fact. His game, and that's why, I don't, that's why I don't talk too bad about KD's two chips because he still went on and did what he did. He still dropped 40 on the Cavs. Of course, do it. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not like they just gave it to him. It's not like they handed yeah, it to him. He went out there and go got three. and go get it. But it, it made it easier for him to do so because of the team that he was on. If Harrison Barnes hit three threes, they KD wouldn't even have been there. That's the thing. Like, it wasn't like – no, I'm being dead ass. It's I'm not, laughing because it's true. Listen, all the like games contain, contain true stuff. They were a shot away from winning the finals in yeah. 2016. A shot away. Yeah. Nobody can make a bucket. Early, game seven. Kyrie so sealed the deal at the end. That one minute. Right. Yeah. It was the block and then the shot. The block, listen, you still had – that block <laughs> happened. You still had a minute and some change left to play. Kyrie hit that shot, sealed the deal. That's what I'm saying. It's unfortunate. It is, show. yeah. But even KD, even KD, outside of his Golden State years, he still ain't stamped. Nothing. He had a chance to redeem himself in Brooklyn, but <laughs> nope. He ain't stamped nothing. So nope. I need, bro. I need Tatum to stamp something. Yeah, you will. I've been on record. I've been on record saying if, if Tatum does this, bro, I believe that he's a top three player in the league. I've said this before. Yeah, personally, I've said this before. I'm gonna say, I feel like Tatum. You can say Tatum's top five right now, right? I think me personally, I think he's top five. I'll All say right. I'll say he's top five. I'll say what Jokic, Luca, and B and B Tatum. Giannis. Yeah. Giannis or B. I'll put Giannis. Well, I wasn't in order. I want I'll, I'll, I'll put I'll put y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I'll put Jason Tatum before and B. If he wins this, for sure. No, I mean as in this current moment. Oh. I'll say I'll, I'll say B five Tatum I mean, I mean, and B was averaging like thirty five right this season. <laughs> yeah, and, and B, I mean, and B was hurt in that whole Knicks series and was going. And, I mean, was, yeah, was, yeah, was going I mean, yeah. Did he dropped fifty. Yeah, on a bad knee. Ah, yeah. I don't know, gang. <laughs> yeah. I, don't I just, know. hey, I ain't gonna lie. That might have that might have been a moment of me just talking, me, me, me chatting, but but I mean, it, I mean, I feel you, I feel you though, Bryce. But, but at listen, the same time, bro, like we, we I, still I, comparing Tatum to SGA and shit. I, I, it's I time know, to it's stamp just something beat on rock with, bro. It's just somebody beat on rock with. Yeah. He's got. I don't think, respectfully, I don't think at this moment, I don't think Shea should be in the conversation with Tatum. Right. Nah, but Shea, it is. Shea, that's a Shea, problem to me. Shea's done what he's done for two years. Tatum's yeah. been right. doing it for the last five, six. Bro, this Correct. is their fifth uh, uh, conference finals in what six Correct. years? I think. Or is it four of the last five? I don't know. It's a lot of new things. I think he's I know. It's, I know it's four of the last five they've been in. I think it's five out of six. And let's Boston. see, twenty eighteen there was there. I think Boston is six out of eight, and then Tatum, and then it's six. Out, it's five out of six. It's five out of six for Tatum, then. Yeah, the only one he yeah. did make twenty twenty one. Yeah, because uh, Brooklyn when yeah. Jalen Brown they got gentlemen swept. Yep. That's that's what I'm getting at for you. And even that since he dropped fifty for them to stay stay alive, he dropped fifty in that one game that they won in Boston. That game three. That's it was against Milwaukee two years ago. We just act like that didn't even happen because of the final. Yeah. Yeah. Like Giannis was on the court, he was dropping fifty balls. Tatum, Tatum one on the one. Did he have an elimination game where he dropped like forty eight? 
something crazy, bro. And people don't even talk about that. No, but they want to slander Tatum all the time and be like, oh, Jason Tatum did this, his team would have won. That's what funny me, bro, because it's kind of true. Like, them boys are that good. Well. It's just it's just the thing, bro. Like, you got Jalen Brown, all NBA, who taking care of business, too. Not this like, year. Well, not this year, but but he is an all NBA caliber player. No. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's it. Just separate yourself. That's all we that's all we asking for. Real who fans just ask for Tatum. Bro, you're getting compared to 22 year olds, my boy. It's time to I mean he's only 18. Let me stop. Type and Mbappe type shit. <laughs> but it's like a it's time to just he's still 18, man. Yourself. Six years in the league, still 18. It's like, bro, like come on, bro. We still talking that we still talk about Tatum like he a a prospect, bro. It's that's time. what I'm like, saying, bro. It's you're, time for them to tap into that potential, bro. It's yeah, time for them to tap in. It's time for them to be here, be present, like be who you are, you know, poised to be that we were talking about when you got in the league. That's all right. Fact. Let's talk about the matchup itself, though. Mavericks, uh, Celtics. How do y'all see this uh, series going matchup-wise? How y'all see um, – how can Boston slow Dallas down, being that Luka is one of the better offensive players in the game and, and, and one of the best starters in the game, like start – like I'm going I'm to keep it a step. And finishers, too. There's nothing you can do about that, man. I disagree. Uh-oh. Nah, I Uh-oh. do I do disagree. Coach, I do Coach disagree. T, what you got for us? Coach T. I do disagree. Coach T, what you got, got for us, man? Right, go ahead, T. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm saying, okay, so look. Figuratively speaking, there's nothing you can do. But Boston has plenty of bodies, physical bodies. That's what people yeah. don't like to talk about with Luca. Physical bodies that they can put on this man. All right, so look. Sure. So my notes. I did notes, too. You feel me? I'm on my, my P-dub shit. You feel know me? I took no suit. So for my keys, right? I got JB stepping into his $300 million role. He need to keep hooping. It's simple as that. You have to keep hooping. Come on now. You got Batman and Robin. I need you to be, you know what I'm saying? I need y'all to be Batman and Robin as well. Derek White, you've been streaky in the playoffs. You got to continue to do that. You got to continue to be a solid third valuable option to that squad. You know what I'm saying? Drew Holiday, I'm assuming he'll be on Kyrie. I'm assuming. I don't, I don't know if they'll so put him too. on Luca or not. Probably, I mean, he's he kind of small for Luca. I mean, yeah. I guess. So well, I'm assuming he'll be on Kyrie. Drew has guarded KD in the past, so I wouldn't be surprised if they try. I wouldn't be surprised either. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just assuming with all that running and right. all of that, yeah. I'm assuming he going, you know what I'm saying, Milwaukee days, he picking him up full court. I don't know yeah. why. I just low feel like that's something. I'm low-key throwing Derek White on Luca. You can throw either or. That's And that's the luxury that they have. That's what I'm saying. They got plenty of bodies. That's the luxury that they have. Four players you can throw on Luka. I, me, personally, I would take a crack at JB on Luka first. I would think they that. I would, I would say JB on Luka because they match up size-wise. Um, and that's the so, physical that I'm talking about. He, yeah. I don't think he can push him down down there like that. It, it He can, oh. but it'll be tough on him. It's going to be a long game, him doing that. Yeah. So... I mean, and, and you could put whoever between Derek White and Drew Holiday on Kyrie. For sure. You can. Yeah. And I need Tatum to break out of that three-point shooting slump. Stop settling, please. I hate watching Southern's game and watch that man settle. I don't like it. It, it, bother, it bothers me. Nobody can really stop you from getting to that Baja. Nobody can stop you from getting to that. I'm to say, bro, like when he realizes who he is, like – He's it, one of the best players timing. on the floor. Yeah, it's scary timing. I need him he to keep getting to the club. He need Coach K to curse him out again. Honestly. <laughs> that ass. And then lastly, in my notes, I had um, take advantage, bro, of your ability to spread the floor. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You got, you got mismatches everywhere. Like You're one of the most dominant teams in, honestly, NBA history because, obviously, their win margin don't, don't tell you anything otherwise. Take advantage of the spacing. You got KP back, so – you should be able to will and deal on this team, man. That's yeah. all it is. Just play your – the Celtics need to play Celtics back basketball. Stop playing Agreed. down the competition like they do. Stop giving up wins at home. If you go at home and you go 2-0, it's going to be very hard for them boys to get them wins back. It's just how it is with that oh, team. Yeah. So stop giving up games, play your brand, and you're fine. That's yep. just me. Coach T, I'm calling you out. Where, Coach where, where T. Where you at? Championship, championship caliber coach right there, man. So, for me, I just think they have too much athleticism and too much size because sure. while while I could say 
you shouldn't play drop coverage, Porzingis is back. So Porzingis has the ability to step up and play in space, I would say better than Gobert. Not not fantastically, but better than Gobert. And I think they also have the size to get to go over on screens and try to force Luca into it. And you have enough size to try to stop that lob. Like yeah, Rudy, sure. yeah. Rudy was coming up and he was getting cooked. Too everything. hard for him to get back. Yo, if they, yeah. Taking one half a step forward, it's a lob. It's done. Now you throw that lob and you've got Tatum that can go yeah. get it. Jalen Brown that can go yeah. get it. Like you've got size back there that's going to be paying attention to that. You would think at least. Now, as far as like one on one matchups and who can really, you know, give him problems, Luca going to do Luca. But I think. They have four. They literally have four players that you can throw at him to frustrate him throughout the game and throughout the series. Like, I'm interested to see what kind of defense they do play because nice. are you switching everything? Are you hedging? Are you trying to get the ball out of his hands? Like, what what's the what's the plan? So Switching probably, would not be the worst idea in the world, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wouldn't be the worst idea in the world because they're only gonna the only one that I would say like a really bad matchup is when Horford's in the game. You don't want Horford out there. You really don't. And him and drop is terrible. Like that's how I about to say Al, big, big big Al. Indiana was, was feasting off of that. Yeah, that's yeah. half the reason they lost in the twenty two finals. Like you're you're playing Steph Curry and you're playing drop coverage. Like he Good luck, a, Charlie. He's step he's pulling up every <laughs> single time. OG. He's pulling up every single time. So for me, like I still expect Luca to to be Luca, mm-hmm. and I'm interested to see how this this rest does for his knee. But I think with the amount of space and the amount of athleticism they have, I think they can, and the speed, I think can can cause them some issues. Especially if Derrick Jones Jr. and and PJ not shooting this, not shooting the three ball like especially PJ Washington if he's not shooting the ball he was the way he was in the OKC series it could get ugly. Definitely five. He'll get ugly. Yeah. If he not making shots, they losing their five for sure. For sure. But, I mean, yeah. that's why they play the games. Because we don't know. Yeah. What- we don't know what's going to happen. I mean, like I just said to everybody at home, I really had the Wolves in five against the yeah, Mavs. Yeah, I had the Wolves just, too. I did not expect the Wolves go down 0-2. I didn't expect yeah, to go down 0-3. I know. It'd be like yeah. that. It does be like that. Late game heroics got him out of game four. Got him out of game one, too. <laughs> it got him, got him, it got him out of a lot of them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You like so, that but yeah, no, nah, man. Uh, I think this is a very intriguing matchup uh, based on various things that we've touched and talked about on this whole episode. Um, but yeah, I agree with you guys. If the Celtics find a way to stop Luka, slow him down, which he already playing slow as is. But to slow down what he got going on and slow down the lobs because that's been their bread and butter all playoffs, bro. Like, them boys are turning to lob threats, and rightfully so. You got athletic bigs and P.J. Washington, uh, Derrick Jones Jr., Derrick Lively, Dan Gafford. Bro, that's – look, you make – Luka made them boys look like stars, low-key. Like, them boys is hooping. Like, nah, Derrick sure. Lively – Derek Lively's tough. He's gonna be Derek Lively is a very impressive, very, very impressive player. And I'm not just saying that because of the shirt that I'm wearing right now. On these playoffs for a rookie be playing the way he's playing. He's the oh, it's, it's, it's smooth. He's the expert. I, I, I do want to say, like, although they lost, the yeah. Thunder really gave you a blueprint. They were just too small. <laughs> like they yeah. were just too yeah. small, bro. And that's been the Thunder's problem the whole year. Every time they played. A bigger team, you know, it usually didn't bowl well with them. But they gave you the blueprint. Your yep, physical did. with Luka is yep. hard on them. Yep, you know yep. what I'm saying? You force Kyrie to – I mean, Kyrie is a, a dog regardless. Kyrie going to find a way to score, bro. He you know actually, what I'm saying? They actually made him a playmaker in that series. That's what I'm saying. Like, you you force him to distribute, it, it could be – it, it could be good eats. That's all I'm saying. So, like, Celtics win by having that anybody but them mentality. Also, get the ball out of Luka and get the ball out of Kyrie here. Be living with way, anybody else. The way Boston shoots the three ball. Yeah. That, 
that's the barometer in this series. Yes. Because when, when Boston doesn't shoot the three ball well, that's when it gets kind of – They start nice. settling, and they will continue yeah. to chuck him. And they, like they keep, really will. But if they get hot, I don't think there's a way for Dallas. So it's not, there's not a chance. I mean, there's, I mean, I ain't going to say there's Dallas, not a chance, but – Dallas don't have enough defenders to slow them down at all. No. Like, Derrick Jones Jr. is guarding Tatum, or is it PJ? No. Um, oh, Tatum, to God. Tatum, 35 in this series. I'm about to say, I feel like either or, like – Oh, That's no, the don't. biggest problem that I had. Like, I feel like either or might not be able to get get like, get okay, Kyrie slow Tatum like, down for real. Like they Tatum, they can't make up for that on defense, bro. They can't because Luca gonna have to guard one of Tatum or Jalen Brown. Yeah. Which I mean, I guess that leads us straight into the keys for the Mavs, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, good good transition. Um, so I mean. Yeah, I'll let you go first, then beat up if you or you want me to kind of. No, no, I can, I can talk. Um, I think Mavs, you know, play their game, and I say, hmm, I want to say make them shoot, but it's like force a tough shot out of them, you know, like make them use that, make them use that shot clock, you know, wear them down, like, cause I just think with Boston, bro, like if they get going, it's wraps. They got too many options, like. Derek, Derek, uh, 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 what's the guy name? Derek, um, uh, Derek White. Derek White get hot. My, hey, call, yeah, call, warm, warm up crazy. the bus. Warm up the bus. All right. I mean, Derek yeah, White is tough yeah. though. Derek White is tough though. But it it's really depends. Listen, like, he's, he's, he's it really, nice. it really depends because they have multiple people that can get it going and be like, all right, who game is it tonight? You know. And I think that's what really makes Boston scary. I, I think they have that more than Dallas has. What's, what's really going to help them in this series is Porzingis coming back. For sure. That's exactly. For, that's exactly. For, for sure. Being out there, for for sure. For, for being out there in this series could be a killer. Yeah. Because Kyrie and Luka would feast. Yeah. If he has Get a, play, hey, one switch, minutes. done. Yeah. If he has to play 30 plus minutes, they're going at him. I'm, I'm very play. curious, though, like, I watched Porzingis footage of him practicing. Like, bro, you still not? Yeah, he he's not one hundred percent for sure. Yeah, no, he's like, definitely bro. not one hundred. No, definitely not a hundo. And but... he can't he can't be out there if he's not one hundred playing against Gafford and Live because they move yeah. way too much. Yeah, and they're way valuable to what Dallas does. Well, I don't uh, think Lively one hundred percent either, though, is he? He, I mean, he's he's close to one hundred percent. I mean, he's close to one hundred. Then, then KP, KP's yeah. injury is it's is rough. Something actually got to deal with their yeah. rivalries was the was the, the neck three which yeah he had Robert Tuss and Abby Prof and he's straight right he had what eight days to get over that so he's straight yeah. oh so I watched the Liberty game it's crazy that passes right. yeah but um uh, I agree though yeah I no think, for sure I'll go ahead oh I say I just think uh my keys were Luca got to keep being a magician, man. I mean, it, you got – you, bro, you beat the Clippers. You've beaten the Thunder. You've beaten the Wolves. All through your magic. You got to keep your magic going. I know all curtains closed, but don't you want to be on the right side of the closing curtain? Come on now. I mean, you got you to gotta end it. You know what I'm Come saying? Come on you now. Do what you, you there. Do. You there. It's time to show the world once again why bro, you I are feel who like you every you time, are. every time the Mavericks have been in, in the finals, they've been the underdogs. I mean, uh... Right. Right, so separate 2006. Not, not 06, not 06. No, since it wasn't on those 06. I thought, uh, really? nah, I, I, I mean, they, bro, they would, they but, was I mean, bro, Wade was what 20, 23, 22, yeah, they, they was both the top seed that year. I okay, think. We like, okay, we were like two or maybe two or three, maybe because mm. Detroit was still there, yeah. Um, and I feel like Dallas was either one or two because you had Phoenix, you had San Antonio, mm-hmm. that's the things they had to go through. So, I think for sure. I think that was more like, if not even, it was leaning towards Dallas, especially once they went like once they went up two zero, people were like, "Yeah, it's over." And D Wade went crazy. But twenty eleven, they were definitely the underdog. Yeah, we don't talk about that too much. (laughs) (laughs) We don't talk about that too much. But can he stop Jason Terry? Yeah, I mean. A dog right here would have had another Finals MVP. Most definitely, I ain't gonna lie, he hooped. Yeah, and that's the only one he. And yeah. that's the only one he hooped him. But you know, 
I understand. I feel like, like I said, the Luka Magic uh, defensive intensity. It's like you're not gonna you're not gonna stop the Celtics entirely, but there will be times where you yes. do need to, to generate stops for you to be in this game. Because oh, yeah. I the, I feel like for, for the Mavs, the longer you hang around, yes. the more probability you have to win. Yes, it's that, basically like a fight. I yeah, mean, let's be honest. We saw it Saturday with, with Poirier and Islam. Shout out all my UFC fans. The longer he he stuck in there, hey, I ain't gonna lie. That boy is my dog. That that's another down, day. That, that's crazy. That's I mean, I heard to see, man. I was hurt for doing for that. I seen that. I said, hey, yo, that's why I'm missing that one. Oh hurt. yeah, yeah. It's time to tap in, Bryce. For sure. Oh yeah, you should have been. My, so my coworker was telling me all about it. I was like, I really gotta tap in. Like I've been too interested. I've been yeah. too interested in hoops, bro. Respectfully yeah. though, the lightweight division is it, clear for a while. Yeah. That man, that brother is not losing. But I you, mean, I'm you had not. you had you had. You had a time where it was three African champions. You wasn't tapped in. That is true, though. That is kind of crazy. You had Izzy, three black brothers. I would brothers. tap in and look. I would, I would tap in and see. Like I know Izzy was doing his thing, or yes. like way, way back in the day when uh, Anderson Silva was doing his thing. Yes. But it's not like I was like tuned into it. He just skipped all the way past John Jones, Tyron Woodley. Like that's crazy. Tyron I just named two out the bunch. I know. Ty, I listen. I know Bones Jones. That that dude. He, no, just, he was more than he was more than that he, dude. He just can't he might, get right. He, he's probably the greatest. Yeah, no, no, no. He just can't oh, get right. The the goat, bro. He is the goat. Is I don't. It's between him and Silver, bro. Yeah, I, 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 I can't do that. Respectfully, I though, that. he clears Silver. Yeah, uh, clears is crazy. Re- I'm not gonna lie. Respectfully, he clears Silver. I ain't gonna lie. Last time I saw Silver, he got three. Done. I mean, I know we all talking. I That's know we all saw Silver. He got done bad. That, that don't that don't count, Bryce. He fought too long, That's and he knew old, he did. Old. He said that don't count. He fought too. Bro, long. But like everybody in the world knew he fought too long. That's and, what and I'm like, saying like, too. I was like, dang, he's still fighting. Like, like he was like the man when I was a child. Like, bro, he fought Izzy on the way up. Like, that's yeah. how long he's been fighting. Yeah, yeah. Like, he fought Izzy on the way up. Like, that was he, ridiculous. He only lost to Wadman because he broke his leg. He would have beat the goofy out, bro. Like he did get he did get slept before that though for sure like my wife. Hey, we really he talking like OG, not Tariq, not Tariq, Don't matter if he was dancing. You should have been in there dancing. If we really listen. If we really talking OG, if we really talking OGs, uh, 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 Rampage Jackson was that guy too for a while. John Jones packed him out. I know. <laughs> Any anybody that you name, John Jones is probably packed out. Oh yeah, which is crazy. But the only reason why I say he's undisputed goat, Tariq, like I said, I know we off topic, but this meant, bro, the time. I think there's only been four fights. He was not in a championship fight. <laughs> like that's crazy, bro. Like that's crazy. Mm. That's ridiculous. Mm. But but I mean, that's unheard of. I'm gonna make a little connection, I guess. Go ahead. So John Jones, usually in his fights, you can't touch him, and you were gonna fight his fight. This is what the Mavs need to do in this series. They gotta fight. They fight. Mm. Slow the game down. I like it. I like it. Make the Celtics play your game. Slow yes. it down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no reason to rush this. There's yeah. no reason. I mean, and that's how Luca plays anyway, bro. Luca, Luca exactly. always plays his speed. Like, Luca fast but slow at the same time. That's right, bro. I, I'm telling you, take your time. Figure out what the Celtics are doing. Because that's what they did to the Wolves. Every adjustment the Wolves had, they took they the time. An for they, they had an answer. They dissected. If you take the time, dissect what the Celtics are doing, you can have success. Yeah. Also, another note that I had is – what Kyrie has been doing has been cool, but brother, it's time to turn back the clock. It's, oh, it's go sure. mode. It's go mode time. For what sure. you did, what you did against the Thunder cruising, that ain't gonna work. Yeah, man. listen, bro. Last time, listen. Work. I feel like we're going. We we we're in for a crazy game one. Last time Kyrie had a game one in Boston, bro, he dropped for you. In yeah, the midst it, of flicking, flicking people There's off, cussing people out, <laughs> like Kyrie, a different guy, man. He is a different drop, guy. They got to drop thirty five a piece every game. Yeah, he's going to have to turn by the clock. It's, it's really go mode. Like, I don't think people really understand what they up against. Like, it's really go mode time. Yeah. You know they need a lot four, of fans on Twitter talking, but it's go mode time. They need four mm-hmm. games of game five through seven, Kyrie, of 2016. That's what they need. My last and not least before I pass it back to Coach T, I had Lively, PJ, and Gafford. Oh, yeah. Defensively have to lock in on the perimeter. Yeah. Yep. If you don't, it's clipped. Same thing when he uh, just said about the Celtics getting hot. They have to lock in on the perimeter. They have yeah. to move. Communication yes. is going to be OD key in this yeah. series because there's going to be a lot of switching. There's going to be a lot yeah. of moving. There's going to be a lot of dropping. You, you know they're going to yeah. try to bring them out there too. 
yeah, so you know, I, I'm you got just assuming KP with, back. I can stretch the yeah. foot. They're gonna try to bring him out there. I'm just assuming what the Celtics are gonna do. Like I said, we still gotta watch these boys play. Oh, yeah, right. and still gotta be played. Yep. Last but not least, the Celtics, when they do attack, generate so many fouls. You have to, you gotta set a foul trouble. You have to, yeah. you have to disrupt shots without mm-hmm. fouling. Yeah, it's just it's just how it has to happen. If not, you're cooked. Because you can't. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not leaving Derrick Jones out there for for 35, 35 minutes, bro. I, I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. So it's it's gonna be tough for him. It's it's not a lot of bodies that you can really throw out there that can compensate for what the subject's got going on. But you have to try. You have to try. If Josh, you gotta use your brain. If Josh Green can shoot, this would be the perfect series for him. If he you can shoot, show the world. You got to show. You gotta, there's going to there's gonna have to be an unsung hero outside of the big two. It's yeah. just it's just how it is. Yeah. Absolutely. And I mean that's 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 what makes diamonds, bro. Pressure makes diamonds. So you gotta see somebody, if there is. pressure makes diamonds, yeah. literally. And what's on what, what's on the championship ring? Diamonds. That's a bar, P. I was about to dab, bro. I'm old. <laughs> yeah, let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. Coach T, what would you what would you get ready to say? Um I just for me, it's just the only way Dallas like really, really has a chance in this is you gotta keep like like you said, you gotta keep it close. When it gets under five minutes, that's when Boston can be shaky. That's when they've lost in the past. Just the last five minutes, shot selection, and all of that. Like you got to get last five minutes, and that's when you're like, I trust my guy more than they trust their guy. Not saying that Luca's better than Tatum or Tatum's better than Luca, yeah. but when you get to the last five minutes, it comes down to who has the best players on the floor. And if you're, it's a close game in the last five minutes. Are you trusting Luca and Kyrie? Luca and Kyrie, or are you trusting Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown? Luca and Kyrie. That's what it's gonna come down to. That's what's gonna come down to. Luca and Kyrie, if, two if of the best closes in the game right now. If they can keep it close every time, that's what's gonna come down to. Because the Minnesota games, outside of Game Five, I want to say we're all close. And in the regular yeah. season, Minnesota wasn't a good, very wasn't a good clutch team. And then they were against Denver. Um, and then they went back to what they were in the regular season. So, Boston has way more offensive talent than Minnesota does. So, it's going to be interesting to see how they try to navigate that. But Dallas has the pieces and has the I – want, I want, I'm going to assume that Jason Kidd has a strategy and a game plan mm-hmm. to slow them down at least a little bit to keep the game close because you that's, that's really what you got to do. You just got to – it's a bunch of counter punches. Yep. That is a good point, man. I never really sat here and thought that Jason Kidd could really out coach Joe. Hundred percent can massively for sure, bro. Like I didn't really think about that. I've just been thinking about the talent. I ain't really been thinking about the adjustments and the X's and O's. Yep. So because we won't really we won't really see it until after game one. Whoever wins game one, that's when we'll see what adjustments. But we haven't seen Joe Mazzula have to make adjustments this playoffs. That's that's something that. Would I'd rather people talk about when it comes down to they haven't had to they haven't faced adversity. Mm-hmm. I don't care about the players not facing adversity because they're gonna play at the end of the day. It's is Joe Mazzula ready for the moment? Because mm-hmm. every single game is gonna feel like a game seven. Mm-hmm. Every decision is gonna feel like this decision is win or lose. Do I call out time? Do I call this timeout too early? Do I call? Did I call the timeout too late? Do we switch this? Do we not switch this? Who is going right. here? There's so many different variables that go into it. I think Jason Kidd has figured it out over the last three series because of the talent that they've had to play and the different ways they've had to play each team. Right. Each series has played, been significantly different. When you had to play the Clippers, you had to – P.J. Washington was guarding James Harden. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you played OKC, and you were able to slow down Jalen Williams. Um, Chet struggled a little bit because of the size so you really just you really just got to take a look at everything and be like okay that's actually we that's that they went from playing a very small thunder team to a uh, yeah. i mean a, a significantly big bigger team with the yeah. wolves yeah. and it's crazy because they played a significantly bigger team and blew it straight out of the water you know what i'm saying yeah. so 
Now you're playing an <laughs> athletic freak team. Yeah. It, but this is honestly, bro, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb and say if the Mavs won the finals, bro, this is probably the hardest road to a finals I've seen. Yeah. In a long time. In a Good long day. ass time. Right, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to right, think. Y'all you know, about to say, yeah, I'm trying to think of the last finals that's to this level. Right, Dallas. Like if the what's gonna call it? I feel like if the Thunder would have won with KD in them, that would have been a tough route. Like I mentioned yeah. earlier, but yeah, that would I'll, probably been the toughest yeah. route of all time, though. Yeah, I would, I would say Dallas is up there, though. Yeah, they, I mean we they, got swept, so I mean they beat Kobe, they beat Timmy, Cole, and then uh, KD in them. Yeah, that's pretty sure. But I can fact check, of course. Tough, that's a tough route. All that being said, I got Boston in five. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> I mean, we did all this talking. I know we talked for a good what hour and a half about this. Just yeah, we we did, and we we knew the results. You know, Just to stay I'll be the odd man out. I got Dallas. I'm not mad at you. Dallas but I just think six. It's too damn much, bro. It's Dallas six, bro. I know what Bryce trying to do. He trying to change the narrative on himself. He picking a European against against two black dudes, one that went to Duke. Hey, yeah, the other one got two that went to Duke. But listen, though, the Tariq, other team got two that went to Duke. Tariq, at the end of the day, he got a cut. The gas tank is filled and the car is clean. Mavs and six. That man is a new man. Listen, Mavs and six. No more man. Cam Thomas. We on no, 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 <laughs> not too much, not too much, not too much. Cam Thomas, as of now. Still a Brooklyn net. Man, I, hope they don't, I hope they don't trade him. I mean, they posted him on the page, so I hope they don't trade him. But come on, can you make free throw? Oh damn! Oh, Kennedy got sixteen tonight. Yes, Kennedy hooping, bro. And I'm like, hey, if this is how people find out Kennedy nice, I'm not mad at it. Man, y'all had about the wrong thing. You know, you know, people are going to tune in to the Chicago Sky games now, bro. Know, if they finding out, on. listen, new fans finding out who really nice in the W by watching the uh uh. The rookies. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Everybody get on board. Oh. Everybody finding out. Oh, they That's, nice. Oh, they, they nice. Like somebody like, was like, "Yo, Kalia Copper always do this." Yeah. But why, why don't nobody talk about Arika? Like, <laughs> y'all ain't, no, ain't a lot of. No, no, no. I ain't gonna hold you though. If people don't know Kalia nice, that's nuts because they ain't know Arika was nice. Exactly. I feel like Arika yeah. way more mainstream than Kyle. I think so too. Yeah. Arika was a dog in college though, didn't she? We not. We not gonna talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. She did. Yeah, yeah, she, she did. She did. In, in front, in front of, in front of you know who. All right, let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. All right, so y'all boys said Celtics. I said Mavs. Uh, we got Thursday night NBA Finals game one. It should be a great game to watch, bro. I'm I'm ready for a good series of just straight hoop, straight basketball, bro. Like I'm I'm ready for it, bro. Like you got guys like Tatum, Brown, Luca, Kai. Kyrie, um, Porzingis, Porzingis, Derek you got up today. Derek Lively, mm-hmm. PJ Washington, like, yeah. From Charlotte to the finals, yeah. Hey, There's like yo, we was at the bottom because <laughs> Gaffer was with the Wizards. Look at it up. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Them boys is in that locker room wild, and I ain't gonna lie, as they should though. Hey, the Charlotte locker room was wild, but we're not gonna talk about that. Charlotte organization, uh, bro. We're done hitting kids in parking lots and uh, yeah. Nuts, they don't. Bro. They I don't. I don't think any of them should own a car. So I don't think any. Never mind. Any of them should own a car. Uh, yeah, I was gonna go. Yeah, end this up because I'm gonna get caught up. Anyways, <laughs> man. Hey, thank y'all for tuning in, bro. This has been our NBA Finals preview, man. Um, for more analysis, y'all know to lock in too much pussy media. Like, share, subscribe. Um. Go to the website, mostpussymedia.com, where our written work is at, written content, you know, further, a little, little, little further breakdown, even though we broke down a lot on this episode. But uh, if you want more st- statistics in the breakdown, we got you there. And uh, just tap in with us, man. You know, basketball don't stop around here. I've I seen a lot of people talk about so, man, we ain't got no hoops for a week. Uh-huh, yeah, we do. We got a lot of WBA action. We got a lot of NBA action um, coming up with this finals. We got... Uh, a whole summer of action in general. Draft coming up soon. 
So we'll be talking some draft stuff, maybe. Who knows? But yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in another episode. Shout out to P. Pierre. Bitch, my dog. Old name Davis. Y'all boy tap in with my boy, man. Especially if you're a Carolina Panthers fan, man. I know we got a lot of Carolina uh, followers and stuff. You if y'all what, need good... Don't even tap in. Don't even tap don't, in. Don't... Okay, all right. And all right. We got to see them play, be on the field before I... Okay, like okay. He said he said you got to see so He said they got to show me. They got to show me something. I can't even... I, can, I just picked Bryce Young in Dynasty, too. We love Bryce Young. Forever. Hey, he, Shout he, out my he, dog. He's a Bryce. I ain't mad at... All right. Hey, pack it up, bro. I'm out. Just pack it up. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the Hoodie and Headband Podcast show. We'll be back next week to talk some more W and some more of the w, I mean of the NBA finals. Um yeah. Pierre, where can I catch you at, bro? You know what? Catch me on X, which is weird. Call now Twitter. Call it X. Yeah, we're gonna call it Twitter, Twitter man. My name yeah, is Twitter. Okay. We're gonna, we gonna call it Twitter. Catch me on Twitter, man, at code name Davis. Catch me on MMG. <laughs> You know what, bro? Actually, I'm a I'm a lay it on the line, bro. Tariq, let's partner up for a Clash of Castle article, bro. It's coming up here soon it. next let's week. So we write hey. about WWE now, man. WWE UFC. These are your guys. Let's do it. This is it. So much love to y'all, man. Like I said, man. Shout out hoodie in the headband. Subscribe. It's free. I don't know how many times I got to tell y'all it's free. It's free. And you know what? Matter of fact, get us, we get us the 500. We, all, we almost there. Get us the 500. We almost there. We all going to wait for y'all to hit the button for five seconds. Let's wait on these boys, y'all. It's plenty of time. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Oh, I see. He stole your whole, whole thing. <laughs> <laughs>